Did you know anything about this place? Just the address. It's caged by frail and fragile bars. Wow. Restless by day and by night. Rants and rages. Look like Granny likes to play a little pool. What exactly did Granny do for a living? I have no idea. I just learned about her yesterday. The beast in me. Midnight Movie Madness! Madness. <laughs> Ow! Oh, <laughs> hanging out with Leatherface, man. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, I, I think Leatherface made this movie, man. Oh, did he? Yeah, because yeah. they're killing this franchise <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, no. They've been killing this franchise. I don't know if you ever saw the prequel that they did for uh, that Platinum Dooms bullshit remake that they did. But, man, I, th- I thought that was bad. But you know what? This new one took the fucking cake. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> took the cake. Uh, d- d- took the d- plate. Took the plate. Smashed took the, it over my head. Yeah, no stuck, shit. Took cake. the fork and stuck it in my ass. I know. It took, what, what, whatever fucking Leatherface was cutting, he must have also have been cutting that fucking movie tonight. <laughs> that I saw because Jesus Christ, what a fucking mess. Man, look, look let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. When I came in tonight, I told you, I, I yeah. came in and you were quiet. Oh, yeah. And I said, oh, I said, co-host, he must either... Either he is mad at me, right. or he just saw the movie I saw. Uh, oh yeah, I'm I'm kind of mad as hell too. And, and man. I I felt really bad because I mean, I I was honestly I was fuming. I was fuming. I was trying to put my thoughts together, just where to begin as far as describing how fucking awful have they raped this franchise what? and the yeah. fact. That, you know, tonight I saw it with the original. I saw it tonight at the Alamo Draft House. I saw the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre along with the original director. And after that Toby movie. Toby Hooper. Toby Hooper. And after that movie, Toby Hooper, they asked him, so, Toby, uh, what do you think about this new remake? Oh, yeah, no, it's it's great. Yeah, it's it's a direct sequel from the original. So they're not trying to reinvent the wheel or anything. But, oh, yeah, you guys are going to love it. Oh, my fucking God. Well, he was God. speaking to everybody else except you, obviously. Yeah, uh, obviously, yeah. Because you know what? The whole time he never made eye contact with me. He never did that. And that is the only reason why I'm forgiving that son of a bitch for, for, for presenting me this fucking travesty of a movie that I saw. Oh, tonight. man. You. You suffered probably worse than I did. Oh, dude. Because you had to see this back to back. Yes. You had to see... You had to see the classic. Yes. The original. The fucking original then, 1974 classic fucking, I call it one of the originators of the goddamn slasher film. It is not care. one of, it is the <laughs> it is originator the. of the slasher movie as we know it today. How, how we see them today, yes. Some people would argue that Psycho was it, but uh, ah! I mean, hey, I mean, hey, hey, Norman Bates, sure he wore his mother's clothes, but yeah, he never wore a fucking skin for a mask. I'm sorry. Human <laughs> skin for a mask. I'm sorry. That started something. The guy running around with a chainsaw, that started something you would if there was no chainsaw you'd get no goddamn freddy krueger gloves you get no machete from fucking jason, jason Voorhees. you get, you get no butcher knife from goddamn michael myers i don't care you, you he get, was the original you he was no, the original og exactly you did <laughs> <laughs> he was the original os original yeah. slasher man <laughs> original yeah you get no you get no butter knife from chucky you know <laughs> you, right. get, no, you get no, none yeah. of that man no shit and the fact that they're calling this an official sequel especially hearing toby hooper you know say that tonight where I'm like, dude, you you directed the sequel already. You directed the sequel that came out in 1986 starring Dennis Hopper as Lefty, who went out to get revenge on the Sawyers, who killed his nephew, Franklin, in the wheelchair in the original. That was a direct sequel to fucking Tex Chainsaw Massacre. But with this, they, they are calling it an official sequel. And I can see because they pulled some fucking George Lucas Star Wars shit with actually presenting you this movie where where the, the, the original one left off. Where you see Leatherface chase after the girl, Sally. Yeah. And you see her escape. Sally calls the police. The police show up at the house in this in this one. And the events take place from there. From, from that point on. And what we have from – you're right. They Through the credit sequence of this one – we we see clips from the original, mm-hmm. and then they all right up the credits roll. They connect it when the police show up, and you see what happens to the family and all. That and kind you of stuff. realize that the Sawyer family isn't just the three brothers. 
all of a sudden, relatives come out of nowhere. Where, where, yeah, yeah, to where, hang where, out. where did the Hatfield and McCoys come out of nowhere <laughs> and show up to be the rest of the family? Yeah. And they showed up yeah. quick. Everyone is showing up, hanging out in this house <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, Snip was there. this you is know? our family and we hold our own. Yeah. Really? You I, eat fucking people and you hold your own and this is perfectly fine? And it was funny because the family the, in the original, the, well, we talk about the father, the grandfather, the crazy son, and mm-hmm. then Leatherface. Yeah. They all look disturbing. I mean, they, yes. look, they look like crazy red next but in this one the when all the relatives show up to help defend the Sawyer family mm-hmm. they all have big beards and overalls <laughs> you know they look like old cartoon country joe they Hicks, do you know? they, they look, look they, they look like, like they just got through making moonshine and got exactly. a call like hey we need your help come on over <laughs> all clean shirts all well dressed they all speak well <laughs> look like they just came off the set of hee-haw no but, shit but with the, so th- what this movie is about it uh it's th- we they connect it mm-hmm. To they connect this movie to the to the old one, and then we jump years later. It's to, about I, they say twenty years about later. Twenty years later, it's not said. Which in doesn't time. make sense because there is a scene where you see a tombstone that says 2012 of the lady uh, who died. Don't even try to do yeah. the math here because characters show up from the original day and they look like they aged about fifteen or so years. <laughs> yeah. and, but and we're not ruining anything here. Mm-hmm. So the way they connected the two movies is um, after the credits roll and the police show up, uh, a, a lynch mob. A, yeah. appears out of nowhere. They stop the sheriff. Uh, they say, we want these people dead. They end up blasting everybody away. Yeah. They're throwing Molotov cocktails at the house. They burn everything down. Everybody dies yeah. except a mother, except a, a young woman and her baby. And her baby, and, her and, newborn and, baby. And, yeah, and who, yeah. yeah, and one of, the, one of the members of this posse, they find this girl and they take her in. Yeah. Now we jump to however you want to do the fucking math here because it, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It do- I mean, it doesn't <laughs> but, matter yet. You can't help but see that as a, we'll get to that. Yeah, later. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you jump to years later. I get, just take a guess. It doesn't really matter. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you, really you just, insert your number here. Yeah, yeah. But, all, uh, all you need to know is that uh, rap has been rap is already around. <laughs> yeah. Because you, you hear you hear it in every goddamn scene. After yeah, that. exactly. <laughs> uh, so we cut years later, and uh, the the little girl has has grown up. She's grown up. She looks she, like yeah. She looks like she's in college. Yeah, actually. she's played by uh, Heather Miller. Except she's not in college. She's mm-hmm. in, I mean I'm sorry. The, the character's name is Heather Miller. Mm-hmm. Played by Alexandra. Uh, I don't know the the Dario. Yeah, the Dario. Uh, but she's got right. unless she she's not in college unless she's in me college. Cause she, <laughs> cause up to her, she's. I guess it's just it, oh. it, it was it was uh, it, it was fate that she just works in a, yeah. with, with me somehow. So she's working at a grocery yeah. store in a, with in a, a queen Yeah, in, in a piggly wiggly. <laughs> yeah, in, back <laughs> cut, in the meat market. Cut, cut and meat. and uh, she she finds out that uh, well she's about to make a road trip to New Orleans with her boyfriend mm-hmm. and their two other friends and she gets information that she's inherited this home. Right. And so they have to make this detour to Texas. Mm-hmm. Along the way, they pick up a hitchhiker, if that sounds familiar. <laughs> they make their way to the house, and house seems cool. I mean, it's big. Yeah. It's a big it's, it's a it's, big fucking house. It, it looks she, like a mansion. She thinks, like, hey, this is cool. I, I, I was on my way to, to New Orleans, and I just found out I had a house. I can yeah. party in right here. From a grandmother that I never knew I had, and now you know I'm realizing that my parents aren't actually my real parents. Ex- yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, all this information is dumped on her. It's like, hey— you know what? Your parents aren't your real parents. Sorry for telling you your life is a lie. But you got this cool ass house. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, yeah. And guess what? House comes with a bonus. Yeah. In the basement, there's a six foot five maniac who's <laughs> yeah. carrying a chainsaw who wears human skin as a mask. Yeah. yeah. Have fun with that. Yeah. Wow, hey. don't, did, 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 yeah. Nobody wanted to tell her that yeah. part. Hey, <laughs> she don't have to cut her own meat anymore. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That, 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 that's, that's, the, that's the best home appliance you can have. She let have to cut let all the all face cutting up your meat. Yeah, Why not? She don't have to cut all meat. Mm-hmm. But the catch is that the meat is actually from people. So yeah. <laughs> you can deal with that. But, so from that point on, what really bothers me about this is that from that point on, what this is what I hate about movies that say we're sequels or we're prequels. Mm. They, uh, you're not really a prequel if you can't stand on your own. You're not a sequel. You're not a if sequel. You can't stand on your own. Yes. You're not either one of those things if you are a retread mm-hmm. of the fucking first movie or uh-huh. the movie that you're supposed to be a prequel to. And I tell you why, mm-hmm. because I can't stand with movies. You talk about Star Wars, mm-hmm. this movie is suffering from that. The wink nod syndrome. Oh, yeah. Hey, wink, wink, nod, nod. Remember this? Remember I, this? I made a list right here. I mean, if anybody, I'm a huge fan of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh-huh. I, I watched it a few days ago to get ready. For this, for this, yeah. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> but if you're if you're a, a, an original, I mean, if you're a fan of the original, these will ring a bell to you. Uh, red shorts, of course. Dead armadillo, 
Yep. Uh, hitchhiker. Yep. Girl in a freezer. Uh huh. All these things that you saw in the original. The van. The the, the van. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking repeating right here. Oh yeah. I can't tell you how many times they had to remind you. They show that girl's <laughs> ass. There's an actress in here named Tanya Raymond's. Yeah. The plays the character Nikki in this movie. Uh, the I remember the character's name in the last movie. Okay. Pam was the girl in the red shorts. If you remember yeah, yeah. the original, the girl, uh, the the Sally, uh, Terry McMinn is. No, oh wait, no, no, you're talking about her friend. Yeah, no, the Sally's... actress's name is Terry McMinn. The girl's uh-huh. the, her character in the, in the original was named Pam. Pam. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times that they. Uh, well, in the original, they showed Pam walking up to the house. The camera was low. And it was focused on her ass and those tight red shorts. And they only did that one time. One time. I can't tell yeah. how many times they focus on this girl's ass, oh, this no. new actress in this fucking movie, man. Hey, remember these shorts? In case yeah. you forgot, here's another scene. It was an ass camera. Every time they got out of a car, every time they were walking into a house, it, w- it got to the point where it's so funny that the audience, the audience immediately could tell, okay, it's time for the ass camera. Because every time her ass showed up in those red shorts, everyone was laughing. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. I mean, how can you not laugh? Yeah. I think, th- did you notice that there there was one time when the screen went black. Mm-hmm. I think that's when the camera was up in her ass. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know how Toby Hooper, because I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Toby Hooper was telling me. I, I interviewed Toby Hooper today. Oh, you did? I did. You I, son of a bitch. And I sat down and, uh. I, and, and I kissed this man's ass. I said, oh, you, you, are, you don't get enough credit. You are the equivalent of George A. Romero, man, to mm-hmm. me, because you are the grand, you, you are the godfather of a genre. It, well, it's funny that you say that because um, he watched, you know, he when he was coming up with the idea of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it was originally going to be about trolls under a house. And he was like, okay, that's ridiculous. It wasn't until his friend invited him to go see Night of the Living Dead that when he saw that movie, it did something to him where he's like, okay, I need to make something like like this. Uh-huh. And that's kind of what, you know, it what? turned into Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You know? Well, I, you know, he made this movie... That is, you can look at this and say, you won't have this, this, and this without this movie. Yeah. And, oh, easily. And, yeah. and for him to sit there and look me in the face, I'm mm-hmm. kind of mad at this dude, to look me in the face <laughs> oh. and tell me with a smile, yeah. without blinking that, oh, this is a true prequel. I mean, I'm sorry, a true sequel to my movie. Wow. This is, this movie has the integrity of my first film. Wow. And after. I give it my blessing. And after he re- – he ma- like I said, he made his own goddamn sequel to this, and his own sequel is a fucking masterpiece compared to this film because, I mean, every – okay, everything everything that's wrong with this movie isn't just the ridiculous plot. It's also just the the fact that it's bad filmmaking. Like I said, okay, the date, the, the year, okay, it was 74, and in this movie, it's 2012, yet – the girl that's in this movie, the main character, when she was a baby in 74, they're showing her in this movie like she's like in her 20s. And I'm like, no, this chick would have been like almost 40 years old. And you're showing her running around like with mid- with a midriff shirt on. Her ass is hanging out. Her tits are always on display. And I'm like, I'm sorry. There's no there's no 30-something girl that looks like that unless she's fucking a model or for working for Playboy or something. It makes <laughs> no sense. Everybody. Yeah. It's, it's 94. Yeah. Everybody got tattoos. They got yeah. modern looks. Yeah. Uh, goddamn Trey Songz is in the movie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the, girl, the girl is dating a rapper and, uh, yeah. uh, and, and an R&B mu- yeah. uh, musician that does music. <laughs> like today (laughs) everything in this movie where they say that this is supposed to be a sequel every fashion statement Mm -hmm. every every piece of music in here Mm -hmm. every the culture just points to modern times yeah i don't know what kind of fucking calculator they were using (laughs) but the dates are wrong Uh, maybe they had leatherface do the math (laughs) (laughs) uh, uh, two plus two equals food (laughs) notches in a a piece of wood (laughs) (laughs) i know (laughs) <laughs> but just the logic of the movie it will have you frustrated because you can't help but notice it. But the, my biggest gripe, though, is that once again, I don't know if it's this, it's, if it's this culture that we're living in because or what, but it is like the complete pussification of another movie slasher. You know, like they did with Michael Myers, where all of a sudden, like in the remake of Michael Myers, it seems like oh he was just pissed off because his sister didn't take him out trick or treat, and that's why he's killing people. With this one. It's all, I mean, and I hate, I, I, it's one of those things where I wish I could go more into it, but you'd be spoiling the movie if you yeah. did. It's just the fact that they make, they make this character not the Leatherface that, that, that we all know and love. They make him somewhat of a sympathetic character. Yeah, the, yeah. Yet everyone that's involved in this movie, including the sheriff, their reactions 
to the situation that's presented in this movie makes no fucking logical sense in the end to let yeah. things just go. What they're trying to do is I think the twist that they want to put here is that we want to we want to make these characters characters. We want to we want to give them more depth, mm -hmm. at least give more depth to Leatherface yeah. where what worked in the in the original is that it's it, it, it's something that we don't get with horror. It's something that we don't even get with comedy these days, but especially with horror. Yeah. What worked in the original is that you didn't know what the fuck was going on. No. You didn't know what was going on with these people. Yeah. They, they, these people are obvious, uh, obviously cannibals, but they don't even call them cannibals in the movie. You go into a weird house, there's all these bones and, 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 uh, and, and human skin everywhere. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Chair, chairs, chambers. chairs made out of bo Bo human bones. Oh, yeah, human people. Human furniture. I mean, it's yeah. and and it never once tries to explain what's happening. Yeah, that is the problem when you try to make a sequel to something like this. Is that you start to overexplain. Mm -hmm. You start to try to flesh these characters out in ways that they don't need to be fleshed out because they were scary and when we didn't know what their motivation no, was. You strip away all the mystery. You strip yes. away all the mystery of what that first film had, you know, had given you. And you know, even with the opening scene, it is very odd to see very normal people in that goddamn Sawyer house with all the bones around acting like everything is perfectly normal like this is just something that we do every day why is this a big deal to people why are people coming to my house trying to lynch us it made no goddamn it was, sense it was almost like the town was excusing them yeah. for the horrific crimes that they had done. It was it was because the sheriff when the sheriff showed up, he was like, "Yo, these are just our local maniacs. <laughs> yeah. they, they might be crazy, but yeah. they're all crazy." Yeah. <laughs> and, and man, and let me tell you something, man. That <laughs> that guy who played the sheriff. In oh, this that movie, poor son of that, a bitch! <laughs> the, it's a guy named Thomas Barry. This guy is the most ineffectual fucking sheriff you have ever <laughs> seen. This this guy is the sheriff of the town, and he does nothing to move but say. Now, come on now, stop that. <laughs> yeah. now, now, quit that. Don't do that. <laughs> Meanwhile, everybody's just running over him. Exactly. You, they they should have just had Deputy Dog there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been just as effective. Yeah. He's like that doctor from, from yeah. The Simpsons, that black doctor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Yeah. Hibbert. Yeah. <laughs> now, come, now, come on now. <laughs> and, and what was funny is that, again, they're trying to make these. They, they took some older actors and tried to make them look young. I will give mm -hmm. them credit for the lynch mob where they, they yeah. made some of those guys look, look younger. Mm -hmm. and you see them years later. And, uh, and I thought, oh, wow. That that that's kind of good when yeah, they made him look younger, but that yeah. that guy Thomas, it's a it's a black sheriff people, yeah. and it's the, it's the guy that we're talking about just can't do shit. Everybody <laughs> just he can't lynch mob shows up now. Now come on now, don't stop. Don't, hey, 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 hey now, oh, stop, yeah. stop it. it's like somebody pushes him and he becomes like a spinning top that can't stop spinning. Yeah, hey, <laughs> he, like, hey, he spins hey, out of the. Hey, out of hey, the now, yeah. hey, come on, but if he you, spins you, away. You've seen this actor before. He's a guy. He's a big old black guy. Looks like he's about in his in his late fifties. Uh -huh. He's bald, yeah. but they tried to make him look young, <laughs> and they made him look. Older than what he's doing. They gave him a fucking jerry curl. <laughs> and they tried to put on that goddamn uh, sheriff hat on him. And I swear to God, I was waiting. I, the only tense moment in that scene was waiting for that fucking hat to pop off <laughs> so his soul can glow. Oh, yeah. yeah. They put that big old... They didn't even give him a whole wig. They put him yeah. a hat with, like... Afro attachments to it in the back. <laughs> and, that, and that hat is hanging on to dear life. Like, yeah. oh, shit. And that fool looked like, he looked like a prune with eyes, man. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, you trying to upstage Leatherface? What are yeah. you trying to do? <laughs> That's actually scarier than the Leatherface hey, mask. <laughs> have you ever seen somebody take chocolate chocolate cake yeah. you know the chocolate icing you ever seen him put saran wrap on it <laughs> yeah. that's what his skin looked like he looked like that's chocolate it. icing <laughs> with eyes oh, I was wondering why I was licking my lips all hungry <laughs> yeah, I'm, I need the whole time hey, now, come that's on, hey, chocolate now. in my now, face yeah. now, now stop this now now, now, now come on leather face now you, you now, no, don't, don't do this don't do this mess now come stop on now. Yeah, that, you know you missed church today too by the way little yeah. face yeah. Yeah, we, we missed your church today yeah. face, where were you are you killing people okay all right. that's all right. make it be okay as yeah, long that, as you do it in your own home. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah that, oh, that sheriff was awful, man. He was. But see, that's what that's that's the problem with the film too. Is that it's not only is it a repeat uh, to to a certain point. Uh, yeah, it's to like a half of the movie. Yeah, it's about half of the movie is just mimicking what the first movie does. Mm -hmm. But then it goes on not only to be a typical slasher movie, but it becomes a slasher movie. 
that we all make fun of. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where they just continuously do stupid shit. Yeah, it's 2013, and I'm sure when they made this, it was still 2012. So, I mean, you've had a string of horror movies to watch over the years and know what not to do and what works and what doesn't work. And, I mean, I was just appalled by the fact that, I mean, I was looking at this going, wow, this is the most amateurish, amateurish script Especially for a Leatherface movie, where I'm like, maybe you should have watched, you should have watched that fucking Matthew McConaughey movie. And I'm not talking about Texas Chainsaw Massacre Four. No. <laughs> by the way, this is this is still worse than that. Now that used to be my all time worst fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This one is now. But Killer a, Joe, a real Killer Southern Gothic Joe. movie, which is yeah. not even a gory movie, it's but it's not still, gory. It's still kind of level of crazy that the it's first the, Texas, yeah. Chainsaw, Texas Chainsaw Massacre was. It is. That will be my. That is That's my new sequel, Texas right? Chainsaw. Yeah, that is my now my official sequel. <laughs> to text chains on masker yeah but, see in, yeah. in this one we make there's so many things that we make fun of slasher movies for mm-hmm. that we think you've learned how is it that toby hooper gave his approval to something that is almost a parody of the slasher movies yeah. that we take that we say are terrible to make fun of to give you an example mm-hmm. people uh, we start out with the the, the kids who aren't Really characters. Mm-hmm. They got no personality. They're just there yeah. to be hacked up and killed. So generic. Yeah, yeah, it's gen- yeah they're just generic characters. They're, just, mm-hmm. they're pretty much just meat. They're yeah, just, yeah. You, know, that, you might as well go ahead and kill yeah. them because that's all they're just walking meat. Who is that? Hey! Hey! Go. What the fuck? Go. They die because they're clumsy. That's not yeah. a, there's, there's, these kids. They have an aversion to steps, man. They mm-hmm. cannot come to a pair of steps. I mean, a pair. Of steps. They cannot come to a set of steps without fucking falling over their feet. <laughs> oh, it's like that one guy tried to outrun Leatherface. Yeah. Did you notice how he turned into like a wiener dog trying he to climb the steps? He, he became a slinky trying to go the wrong way <laughs> up, to go the up the stairs. stairs. Yeah. You ever seen a cat yeah. when they run stairs with all four feet? That's, yeah. that's what that guy looked like. He fell and tried to run up the steps. And you can see Leatherface in the background, not even attempting to run. Not even like he's like, really, dude, really? You're Leather- not, you're not gonna give me anything to chase after. He's like, like, damn, this, is this easy? I, I love the fact that they had a scene where uh, the main the, the main actress, the main girl running away from Leatherface, tries to jump over this those shitty looking plastic gates, that, that, and and she actually stumbles. She's the worst one. Yeah, she's stumbling. She, she it, trips and falls over fucking everything. She yeah. falls down the steps. Mm-hmm. She falls over some uh, a, a gate that is three feet high. Three feet fucking high, and you're just like, really, bitch. Really? I, yeah. I mean, come on. I, saw I mean, where's, where's the banana peel? Where's that? Yeah, where, 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 exactly. Where you slip over that? Where's yeah. that? Yeah, where's yeah. that shit? I, I saw a, a, a goddamn chihuahua come in, hop over the fence. I'm like, damn, really, girl? <laughs> no, you can't yeah, jump like, over this shit? Come oh, on, man. No wonder oh, your ass going to yeah. be dead. <laughs> uh, and on top of that, if you excuse the clumsiness, people just do things that you scream at them, don't do that. Uh-huh. Now, in most movies, people will walk into a room, and they'll be dead in a second. You know, you got time. You got about one second to yell, man, what are you doing? Don't do <laughs> yeah, that. Stop it, you and, dumbass. Yeah. But they got a whole scene in here where not only is a cop saying, hey, well, uh, a chainsaw ain't bulletproof. Yeah. I can, I'll go kill Leatherface. <laughs> yeah. And there's kill a sheriff it. telling him to stop. But they got another guy saying, no, go ahead. Yeah, and he spent ahead. about 10 minutes of this guy following a trail of blood, looking at all kind of horrible shit when... Where's the backup? Hey, hey, with his fucking iPhone. The worst fucking use of an iPhone I've ever seen in a horror movie. <laughs> where he, the guy, the, the guy in the, in the, at, at the back of the police station going, all right, give me a visual. Guys, oh, thank God I got my new iPhone 5. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I, yeah. so I can show you so how I stupid show, I am yeah. as I walk so in. So I can show you this long-ass trail of blood that never fucking ends, only to go into a house of fucking horrors with every goddamn chainsaw, decapitated body, and the guy's like, hey, 
Now kick that door down. Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't know. If you, kick it down. Well, I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what I want you to do is follow this trail of blood <laughs> into, this, into this house of horrors. <laughs> yeah. Obvious a killer. And when you get there, I want you to film it and make as much noise as you can. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm recording this. I'm going to put it on YouTube. Yeah. There's going to be some good shit <laughs> on YouTube. There's yeah. going to be a million hits right We're here. We're going to get all kinds of hits. Yeah. Right here. Uh, but the worst, uh-huh. the worst has to be. Leatherface at the carnival. Oh my god! You talk about you talk about fucking not ever having to wait for a line ever again. I mean, Leatherface at least has it right. He runs with that chainsaw. Yeah, those lines disappear. I ain't waiting. No, I ain't waiting for the Ferris wheel. Oh no! Fuck that! Yum 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 yum. He's it is all, funny. He's pissed off like he's getting all mad. <laughs> shaking he stopped. His he got a corn dog. Got a he's balloon. Shaking, yeah, he's shaking his goddamn chainsaw at the goddamn Ferris <laughs> wheel. Stop! I want to get on. <laughs> Stop! They got himself some cotton candy. <laughs> That's like corn dogs. <laughs> it is the worst scene that we're supposed to have. Uh, it's, it's supposed to be suspenseful. It is the worst scene of suspense I've ever, ever seen the movie. Ever. The fact that they even throw in. Okay, th- okay. Just to let you know, Platinum Dunes did. I don't know if we covered that. Platinum New Dunes did not make this movie. No, they did not. Uh, no. You know, uh, Twisted Films, Lionsgate, uh, Lionsgate. Yeah. The guys who give you the, the Saw movies, they put out this film. This is their baby now. Oh yeah. And ev- they even threw in a character from Saw in there with the chainsaw. Oh, with the, chain, the pig, with, with and the pig, pig head. Oh, yeah. And I'm, he, that, that he, he almost gets around a with duel the chainsaw. With, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> Chet Leatherface is running around. You thinking, oh shit, this is gonna be the real massacre. He's in uh-huh. the crowd. He's gonna chop up this all these it. people. I thought, okay, this is gonna be a scene like in Jason vs. Freddy, where where fucking Jason went to that rave and just fucking it hacked and slashed everybody. every fucking person that was in his way. It's funny. Yeah. He can he, he can kill a teenager running away from him in the middle of a field, mm-hmm. but when he's at a carnival surrounded by people he can't hit one person no. and the scene climaxes that scene climaxes with what uh this girl heather mm-hmm. riding up uh, not even a ferris wheel a mm-hmm. mini ferris wheel yeah. <laughs> riding up on that with with, with leather face yeah. hacking away yeah. at a rope at a not r- not <laughs> not swiping the rope and no. it just snaps no uh. he, he can he can go through a body like a like a hot knife with on butter <laughs> no. but he can't get through that one rope no right he there. can't <laughs> and that is why he'll never win that goddamn pink elephant yeah, yeah. that's why he'll never win that from the carny <laughs> and, and on top of that there was sparks running up from that rope <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> i just like i just like when you said fuck it when that cop showed up and he just threw that chainsaw at him <laughs> he, had okay. no, he had nothing to do that was the most realistic part of the movie's like <laughs> fuck you and he, ran, he runs away like benny hill that's when leatherface turned black he said fuck did. this he yeah. that fucking chainsaw. And, and I, you know what i will give the movie credit <laughs> you know, he threw that shit yeah, he just he chucked that shit <laughs> fuck you <laughs> yeah, he ran it <laughs> yeah. he, he was he said shit i can't take on no gun I'm no 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 fuck no. out of here uh, i will give the movie shit. uh we'll give the movie credit in that area mm-hmm. a lot of credit in this area yeah where i thought some of the 3D worked better than a lot of movies I've seen in a long time. You are absolutely right, man. I mean, the 3D, because I, I was, that's one of the things I was really surprised. I was like, man, this looks really good for a 3D movie. I don't know if they actually use the, the cameras that you're supposed to use for 3D, but it's another thing that kind of irritated me because there's so many shots of the two main girls in this movie where you see their tits hanging out constantly. Where you notice, you know, you really notice with the 3D, like you're like, oh my god, that girl's chest is like real sweaty and just, oh yeah, the breasts are like trying to pop out. There's even a scene where one of the girls, like they they unbutton her entire shirt, and this shirt is hanging by the nipples of this girl's breast. Oh, you you don't see no nipples, you, no you, nothing. You're like, come on already. They glued that shirt to her nipples, man. So that they, shirt would oh, not. Come that was so fucking frustrating, and I'm glad I wasn't the only one in the theater who was frustrated. That was the only thing I thir- I heard anybody talk about. After this movie, and and if if and if all the people and if all anybody can talk about is how come that girl's fucking shirt didn't expose her tits, then there is something wrong with the goddamn movie when it's called Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, what the what was the yeah. di- you just, okay? You got a rated R movie. Yeah, you're killing all kind of people. Mm-hmm. You can't give me half a nipple. Not, not I mean, they, go a all the way with this. Movie. In yeah. a horror movie, man, come in on. This day and age, yeah, yeah. You, I, I'm not saying you gotta get no, no. breasts. I'm just saying if you go, don't do this bullshit where you yeah. button her shirt down halfway <laughs> and her nipples are duct taped to yeah. her shirt, where the entire shirt is unbuttoned and yes. it is just sticking to her. Fucking tits, like fucking, uh, like like God like like that goddamn it. hat to that guy's afro. <laughs> it, ain't letting, it ain't letting go. It's not letting go. And I'm like, really, oh, really? Come yeah. on. It was like those nipples had something. Those, those nipples had teeth, and they were biting <laughs> yeah, down on that shirt, man. They're like, Yee. but that fucking chainsaw. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. I have not jumped 
in a movie like that in a long time. When he right. threw that chain started and it came towards the screen, yeah. I'm not lying about this. Yeah. I ducked and I said, "Whoa!" <laughs> yeah. and, and I had to like get up and kind of pull uh-huh. myself together because you know how I was sitting in the front, right, right? And I know everybody saw my ass going to the chair when that shit came. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got up to see if the guy behind, behind me was like cutting hair and shit. Hey man, you still got your head? I know <laughs> his head is all squirting up blood. Yeah. With popcorn is like, man, this is a good movie. <laughs> Full price, boy. Let me tell you something, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up. Yeah, because this is this this is this this is one of the most heartbreaking things I've seen in a long time. It's one thing to actually make to to make a sequel for money, because that's what this is. No, it they, is. They, I mean, I don't care what they say. This this is they know they have a franchise. They're trying to spit. They're trying to put some some new spin on. I don't, and I can't remember that. I know the last. Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. That was the one from Platinum Dunes. And yeah. It was, and it was the prequel. It was the prequel. Right. I don't know if that movie didn't gross enough. Or, it didn't. Okay. So I get a feeling that they said, we want to keep this going. It is a popular name, but we got to do something different. Well, let's just go ahead and make this a, di- a direct sequel to the, to the original. And what, and, and, and it's, 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 and I'll say it's heartbreaking because for Toby Hooper to sign off on this, mm-hmm. That first movie was, it's very psychological. It the is. reason why it's one of my favorite horror movies, uh, probably uh, it, it, up there in my like top three favorite horror movies of mm-hmm. all time, is because there's there's hardly any blood in it. No, there's there, not. There, you, there's blood on a finger. There's blood on walls. I mean, there's you see some on <laughs> some ch- on a chest, but a chest. it's it's never it's never it's in your face. It's not gore. Yeah, there's no that not. movie's highly psychological, and it's it and what your mind is able to fill in. It's probably more horrif- horrifying than what we would have actually seen had they had the money to go off and do gory special effects. Mm-hmm. For, so for them to come and do something that is the complete antithesis of that original movie, this is gory almost to, to the point of exploitation. I'm not saying offensive exploitation. I'm saying exploitation in the terms of that's what these kids want to see. That's how we're going to make our money. Mm-hmm. And what, they, what they've done for making a legendary a horror film that will that 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 nobody's ever going to forget. Mm-hmm. They come back and make something like this that is not just forgettable, but it's just it's to me it's almost it's unfor- it's unforgivable. Mm-hmm. It, it's, it's, I agree. It, it's it's it's, yeah, it's totally forgettable and unforgivable for that. Uh, <clears throat> this is it's so much the, the opposite of that first movie that this is su- this is subpar to the most generic slasher movies that we see. Oh this, yeah. they're not even trying with this. I will. I give movies this rating when I know that they're just doing something to make money. There was hardly any effort made here to do anything other than cash in. Mm-hmm. So, for them to do that <clears throat> to such a remarkable first first film, I give this a big major fuck you. Oh yeah. I mean, and it it is. You're absolutely right. I mean, it it's for me. It's all. It's heartbreaking. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of those movies that was like almost a myth to me until I saw it where you just hear about this this movie that seems like you know a snuff film and when I saw it I treated it like a snuff film when I watched it it really fucked me up and it was more on a psychological level that no other horror film has done before to where it made me think wow you know these people can live easily like in the next town just waiting for me to take a fucking road trip, have that fucking have that ha, have the, make that stupid mistake of not having enough gas in my fucking car. Oh, I see you've never driven through Mississippi before. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, that's uh, you, well, well, yeah, that's real. That shit can happen. Yeah. Yes, but the fact that's just called life. That in is fucking life, and that's what that movie was for me. I mean, that movie was just something that represented something very real. And, you know, I, and I've never seen a movie do that uh, to me before, especially the look and feel of it. It's amazing to how, you know, to this day, you will never, ever see a movie like that in, in any, with any stretch of the imagination on that kind of visceral level like you did back then. And watching this, especially fucking being there at the screening, seeing, uh, you know, they had a dirt, they had like a, uh, uh, a really nice, uh, print of the original. And even with that print, just the sound quality. I mean, you, that is a movie that you can watch on a film level and notice the editing, the, the score of the film, which is just a weird ambient kind of thing. I mean, scored by Toby the, Hooper. Scored by Toby Hooper, where he was fucking just playing with junk in his. It's not in, music. It's yeah, almost like room, the, it's not. It's like, it's like a bunch of shit that you find at a hardware store and they were just clinking and clanking <laughs> things. It's like when your daddy fell in the garage and just a bunch yeah, of noise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he took that Looney Tunes thing of uh, yeah. falling down the stairway. 
Bentley. Bentley. Well, your dad advanced. was down the garage yeah. and knocked over the toolbox. Yeah. And shit. I mean, just from, from that to the actors that he got to portray those characters, that, that, that they didn't seem like actors to me at all. They seemed mm-hmm. like real, genuine people who were living out there, still killing people. It had, they, a, it had a documentary feel to it. Oh, it, it that, completely did. And for yeah, them to yeah. make a, a movie that feels... Mm-hmm. Well, like a movie. Uh, yeah. Like and the thing is, his cinematographer was a docu- was a guy making documentaries. So, I mean, all that, the way it all came together, the happy accident that it was, yeah. was just, it's mind-blowing. And it's amazing. So, of course, when you see something like this, I mean, it is heartbreaking, especially with Toby Hooper giving it, you know, just, just giving it the pass where I'm like, no, that's, that's Toby Hooper signing off on, uh, going, all right, give me that check. That's all it is to me. And it's hard to, I, be- it's hard to believe I, otherwise. I know, I know. And, and, and seeing the, the mess that I saw tonight, seeing the pussification of a slasher, of a fucking brutal slasher like Leatherface, um, something where I'm like, wow, you, you still can't manage to get this right. You can't read headlines from the news to come up with a story that is that could be just as shocking as, as something that you would have – a story you would have heard back in 1974. You can't manage to do that. Yeah. You, uh, this it, is tame. It, it baffles this me. This is it, tame, It's man. so fucking tame. It's so generic. I mean, even the kills in the original are far more creative than what you see in this movie. I mean, Leatherface honestly only kills – you only see him really hack up somebody with a chainsaw like twice. Uh, you know. Yeah. And other than that, he's grabbing somebody with a meat hook or whatever. But I'm like, it's called fucking – Texas Chainsaw oh, Massacre. Thank, thank you. Let the fucking chainsaw kill somebody. Th- th- thank you. I, Fuck. I wrote down right here. There are more people <laughs> killed by cars, cops, rednecks, <laughs> yeah. machines, Mach- yeah. steps, <laughs> you know, see, <laughs> than, <laughs> than fucking Leatherface. Yes. Yes. What the and fuck? What? So that's why I give this. I give this fucking bitch hog of a fucking movie a <laughs> fuck you. God damn. Look what your movie did to the door. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>